Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna start off the week with five beauty tips that really matter. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. So ladies, of course there's plenty of beauty tips that really matter, but I'm not going to list a billion of them. And there's ones that are more important than others. So I picked out five that are powerful, that are going to get your week started. And we're gonna start off with the first one. My first tip is, that's very important, is washing your face. I've talked to you about double cleansing. It is very important. If you're over 40, you need to be cleansing your skin every single night. There is no such thing as I'm too tired or I can't or what have you, or if you're using those face wipes, you're not cleansing your skin at all. What you're gonna see is dull skin. You're gonna see congested skin. You're gonna see skin that doesn't look glowy. It's gonna look lackluster. You name it, I could keep going down the list. You have to wash your skin. I love washing my skin with a balm. I want to melt away the SPF, the dirt, the pollution, the everything, the makeup. And then I will use my Ever Rebalancing Gel Cleanser. So I have really nice, clean skin. It's not squeaky clean. It's not drying it all out. You have to cleanse your skin if you want to have beautiful makeup, if you want to have beautiful skin, if you want to go without having to wear a lot of foundation. You want to use a BB cream. You want to use a tinted moisturizer. You have to cleanse your skin. You have to set your skin up for success. The way you're going to brighten your under eyes is using color correctors. This is not emphasized enough for women over 40. I am huge into color correctors. I love how they brighten the eyes. I've showed you my Just Peachy, which is in a beauty stick here. It is a peach color that's going to brighten the under eye. It's going to take those grays and those just blues and really brighten the eye area. I have No Redness, which is green, which cancels out red. I have eye brightener that's gonna be a little peachy again, that's gonna get up into those corners and lighten the eye. I have uh, lighten up that's going to be in the same category as eye brightener, but it's going to be more on a warmer tone to brighten that eye area, depending on your skin tone. And then of course, the Mac Daddy of all color correctors are Extreme Cancel, which is an orange color corrector. So I have videos all over YouTube about how to use color correctors, how to pick them for your skin. I will link them to this video so you can have an easy resource. But ladies, if you're battling with darkness underneath the eye area, don't just put on a concealer. The concealer is not going to lighten and brighten the eye area. You have to first correct the color, correct what you're working with, then you can put on your concealer. If you don't feel like you need the concealer, you can go right in with foundation and just meet up to where you put the color corrector and blend it together, nice and seamless. But don't just be using a, a concealer because you're not going to achieve that brightness, that beautiful, that really just gorgeous skin that you're looking for. My third tip is to be using an SPF, a Retin-A, a vitamin C. These are gonna really help with hyperpigmentation. If you are over 40, you know what I'm talking about. We have the dark spots on our face. We have this hyperpigmentation. I have seen wonders with vitamin C on my skin, lightening my pigmentation. I recently just introduced using Retin-A at a very, very low percentage and using it like every four days. I'm not going crazy with it. I'm spot treating with texture and with darkness. And then of course, SPF. You know I love my La Roche-Posay Mineral SPF. SPF 50 because it's like a serum. So this is going to be a great arsenal to help you with your dark spots, with help lightening, evening out your tone. So investigate, talk to your dermatologist about this. If you're really unhappy with your skin tone, you maybe want to look into lasers. This is something that's a step above just using products, but really work on those hyperpigmentations with protecting your skin with the SPF every single day maybe using a Retin-A, introducing that into your skincare routine, and of course, our loved vitamin C. My fourth tip is prepping your skin properly. So you can't just go into doing your makeup without moisturizing your skin, hydrating your skin, maybe doing a little massage, getting that blood flow going to your skin, a little gua sha, whatever your morning routine is, or your evening routine if you're going out and you're doing your makeup. Your makeup is going to look as good as your skin prep is. And I really firmly believe in that. As an esthetician, if you are having rough texture, if you have dehydrated skin, if you have flakiness, if you have dullness, when you get to your foundation, BB cream, tinted moisturizer, concealer, color corrector, you can expect your skin to look amazing if it's not been 
prepped if it hasn't been um, really assessed and say, okay, you know what? I have a lot of dry, I have these dry patches. You put on foundation over dry patches, what are you gonna see? Dry patches. It's going to grab in those areas. It's not gonna look good. So you cannot go, oh, my makeup doesn't look good or this foundation doesn't work for me. We have to look first at what are we putting it on? This is our canvas. If it's prepped, it's beautiful, it's moisturized, it's plump, it's glowing, your makeup is going to look incredible. And my fifth tip, ladies, is going to be wake up your face. If you're wearing nothing, these are the two products that you need an eyelash curler and a mascara. Now, of course, I would say cream blush and some lip gloss to add some color, but if you are doing nothing and you're like, you know what, I just wanna look like I'm awake, you are going to use an eyelash curler and you're gonna use an amazing volumizing mascara. Now, I just taught you last week on how to do lash stamping. So this is a really great trick with your mascara. You're going to get high impact with this. It's very simple. It's a great technique. I hope you check out that video. I'll link it at the very end of this video. But you want to look awake. The first thing people look at is your eyes, right? You want to have that open-eyed, that well-rested. You do that by curling your lashes and putting on some coats of mascara and then really rocking that beautiful attitude all day long. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed these five tips. Of course, there's tons and tons of tips that are out there. I will speckle these through this year of picking out ones that I really think are powerful that are really gonna change your makeup game. And until my next video, I'll see you later. Hey,